If I can turn back time. Bum, bum. If I can walk away. <sighs> what a time to be alive. Welcome to episode 23 of From Inside Out. I am your host with the most who likes to spend time at the coast and from time to time has a little boast. My name's Aid. And as always, <clears throat> I am joined by the Willy to my Wonka. It's Mr. Bam Roberts. Have you used that one before? I've, I've, like used, I've, defi I've, I've definitely I've, used Willy before. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you've used that one before. <laughs> Try again. Give me another one. I want a better intro than that. Uh, okay. Uh... <clears throat> I am joined by the Dom to my jolly. It's a throwback, isn't it? Mm. Can I give you one, can, can I give you a little bit more of like a, a latest one then? Okay. I'm joined by the Dan to my Schneider. Too soon? I don't know who that is. <laughs> it's what I'm going to get into today. <laughs> Have you seen this Nickelodeon thing yet? What, the, the documentary thing? Yeah, it's about him. Hiya, guys, by the way. Sorry. I am, <laughs> yeah, hello, I am everyone. Here. Hello. How are you doing, Zaid? You know what, right? So you... <laughs> I feel like I've had you... the most stressful last two hours ever. Oh, <laughs> Today was going it. so well. <laughs> right, so <laughs> you're insisting that this isn't you. It's not your fault, apparently. Oh, uh, right, okay. But I'm ill. Yeah. You were ill. But and... Booth was ill before me, so Booth gave it to me. And who gave it to him? His kid, Zach. I think. Yeah, so basically, a two-year-old has been able to take us down this entire band. Yeah. That's the way I'm seeing it. Not just that, and... Like, I went to go see Dream State last night, and um, and the whole band are ill on tour. And, but, like, even the support act, um, the vocalist couldn't play the show because he was ill. So they had, they had like some some fan from St Helens like standing on stage with his phone with the lyrics, and he did a you know he, he did a good job considering it was like two hours before the show. Oh, it was a fan. Yeah, yeah. I think he's in a I think he's in a local band around here somewhere. Really? I don't know who it was, but um, that's but amazing. Yeah, was, what? He just got up. It, well, he didn't get up like on the spot. I think like they'd posted something saying. It's going to be an instrumental set tonight, unless anyone wants to jump in. And he was like, I can do it. But, um, but yeah, obviously, he had to have the lyrics with him. As long as he knew the songs, though. Dude, at that point, you know, when you're like, it's going to be an instrumental set, cancel the show. There's no way I could do an instrumental set, especially with like the songs we have now. <laughs> it would expose you, boys. <laughs> How, uh, so easily how, how basic these new songs are <laughs> oh, how much booth needs to practice guitar <laughs> what is going on with instagram man like i can't even post a story about the podcast. yeah i'm trying to post as well i think instagram's down if anyone can confirm that in the chat for us right now uh angela's here Catherine's here as usual thank you guys so much um right so let's talk about what, absolutely everyone let's just talk yeah, about what I... happened in the last two hours oh yeah exactly so I jokingly said I've got the inspiration behind Bridget Jones on the show. Becky is not, of course, the inspiration behind Bridget Jones. I'm pretty sure she would have been like 10 when it came out, probably even younger. However, um, literally, as we posted she was going to be on it, within about 10 minutes, uh, a new story broke, which she had to work on. So essentially, someone came out of nowhere and said, there's a breaking news story that we need you on. And because of that, this means she's not joining us tonight because she's got a better opportunity in her profession. And so, yes, I am sorry to anyone who's expecting Becky here tonight. Um, is is wait a second? Is Boof on our account right now? <laughs> That's I'm amazing. so excited for this <laughs> party. Love, George. This is going to be fun. The first time I ever call him out on something and he's, and he's watching, watching live. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more where that came from then, Boo. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, Insta is down, right? Beth just said Instagram's down. All right, cool. That's fine. We're just going to roll on like per usual because there's people going to be listening to this uh, in their cars, on the, on, uh, I don't know, on a bus somewhere on their way to work. So let's give them what they, uh, what they came here for is a little bit of entertainment. But before I go any further, um, like, subscribe, comment. Start doing that as much as possible, please. I don't even care if the comment is literally an emoji. It could be any emoji. The hot dog emoji. It could be the moon. Uh, it could be the plus emoji, but it's a little bit thicker than a plus sign. Don't care what it is. Throw it in there. I want to see your best. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I need to keep on saying that uh, and like it. And also, if you're listening back on Spotify or Apple uh, or Amazon podcast, hit the follow uh, button and give us a little cheeky rating. Bam. We've got something on Friday. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to talk about how stressful that's been? I mean, I, I haven't really been involved with the organizing of this, so I, I can't I can't like give all the, the details, but we're playing a show in London on Friday with Tova and our transport has all got messed up. So basically up until like half an hour, 40 minutes ago, we weren't actually sure how we was getting to the show, but I, I think it's sorted now. It's just been sorted. Like within the last two hours, we've been able to kind of like organize a lot. Um, and I think for me now, the big thing is it's going to be a good show. There is people coming down to see us. We even posted this on our uh, Instagram and all that kind of stuff. But this isn't why I want this to be a good show. I There's a lot of people in the room, a lot of potential fans in the room. And that's who I'm, I'm we're, we're showing up to impress. Um, I, I had stated on the instagram post that we, we put up the other day just about pre-saves look guys uh this this industry is all about numbers unfortunately um but my god the response from that was amazing and like i even messaged bam i was like geez like so many people are doing it and bam was like it's just because we asked like it's yeah. nice it's it is nice to know um so if you didn't realize uh we've got a new single coming out when you cry it's coming out on the 12th of april uh so that is not this friday it's the next friday um so please especially and i'm not <laughs> degrading anybody else's listening preferences but especially spotify apparently it's very important that we get the pre-saves in on that so if you're listening to this and you've got a spotify account i will beg you right now to do it but also if you sat next to someone who also has a spotify account literally just send them to our instagram click that link and buy and just click pre-save it's I'm able to do it in less than 30 seconds now. It's so quick. Like I was actually surprised. If we can get the pre-saves up, that'd be amazing. Right. Enough plug-in. Um, bam, you've been hard at work. We went to B and Q the other day. And we were we were having a lot of fun. Um, is the shop ready? So yes. I'm gonna say yes um we've got we've got someone coming around in the next week to make sure it's all running properly like it should be but because we were basically we we're already licensed for upstairs so um they basically just said like we know everything's fine like yeah so they're gonna come around but yeah we're open we haven't really we haven't even announced it actually like uh i feel like we're gonna announce it this week maybe i need to speak to simon but every um, time though you need to start saying the name of the shop the other side <laughs> the other side i think that's the first time you've called it that on this so I hear up to? No, yeah I maybe i mean yeah, i think it is yeah but i feel like if i say the other side people don't know i'm talking about a tattoo studio because just of... say my tattoo studio the other side oh, okay well yeah okay yes we're called the other side do you know what i was watching what was i watching I think I was watching the new Ghostbusters the other day and um, they kept on saying the other side and I was like, oh, this is quite funny because like, it's like when the ghosts go to the other side and I was like, oh, that's funny. I think Instagram's back. Oh, finally. I've just kept, I've just kept it on the screen, but I've just got, I just got a notification from Instagram. So I, maybe, m maybe that's what's happening, um, but it is what it is. So yeah, go check out the other side. Uh, what's the actual tag for that one though, Bam? Uh, on Instagram, it is at the other side underscore uk i believe i yeah right. i think it's that i think it's that yeah so yeah cool. go give us a like have a look at some of the work that we do 
we're going to get a few more artists coming to work with us as well over the next month or two so yeah but now we've now we've finished with all the decorating it took, it took us about a month um after the four month setback or three month setback that we had but Jesus yeah Christ. i'm uh i'm excited to i tattooed to did i tattoo today no i didn't tattoo today i'm tattooing tomorrow so that'll be the start of all that basically so you're gonna be the first time in this room is it uh, no <laughs> oh right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god the pause then <laughs> that's illegal that that's illegal, illegal. I'm a tatty virgin. <laughs> Did I hear you doing some sort of competition you're entering? Is that like a thing you're doing? Oh, no. It was... Um... Oh, did Sai mention this the other day? You were talk You guys were talking about it. I was just eavesdropping because I'm a nosy bastard. But Oh, yeah. No, it was just... Um, we're, we're working a convention in Liverpool uh, 18th of May uh, called The Docks. It's run by one of our friends. It's a new. It's a new convention. So um he's basically just got like all of his tattoo mates to come work it um, right makes sense so yeah we're all we're all working that and there's in tattoo conventions there's a, like there's always competitions and that so um he asked if i was entering and i said no i probably aren't because i i don't know i just i'm not the kind of person to like want to enter a competition and put me work up on stage and be like hey look at this but he was like no you definitely should so i don't know i'll think about it depends what i do on the day do you need us to convince you um i think no it depends what tattoo i do like um i'm probably just going to be, be doing walk-ups for the two days so i'll just be doing black traditional pieces that are what i do now so if, if there's something i'm like oh yeah i'll enter that then i'll do it but yeah i have no idea what i'll be tattooing on the day yet usually people like book something in to um that they want to enter or something they've already started and they'll finish off the convention but uh by the way, yeah. Angela's just saying, do it, do it, do it. Angela, we don't appreciate the paper. Oh, oh okay, um, then I'll do it then, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, and we don't condone bullying here. Um, so can you kindly not, okay? It's well, just good. too much stress for him. This, um, this story just never uploaded. Right, I got something for you. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> sometimes the weirdest things happen uh, in the world of the internet. And I'm very much aware of um i don't think like most people yeah but when this so when this story came up i didn't think of you straight away by the way i've literally had to find this because of um oh this is gonna be funny let's let's find it here um oh my god they they deleted the post oh my god this is annoying. All right, wait a second. I think I'm going to be able to do this through transcript. Should have, have you seen this? Tra have you seen this transcript thing? I have, on, no, uh, I have no, no idea what you're talking about. So transcript on um, YouTube now. AI literally will write everything out that's said. Right. Okay. So it, it wasn't originally a Reddit post, uh, and it was called. You, this is so weird. It was called. I think I just watched my husband cheat on me during a threesome. Wrap, wrap your head around that one okay. so let's find this one here <sighs> so where did this woman go here it is yeah so me a 28 year old woman i think i just watched my 33 year old husband cheat on me during a threesome uh i actually don't know what to make of this i'm so confused and honestly hurt I'm not sure that anyone will have any advice, but please, if you do, I need someone's help. My husband and I, for the majority of our relationship, have been in a very open to non-monogamous uh, to non-monogamous sex. Never by ourselves, but with each other and another person. Over the years, we've had many threesomes with other girls, and we've both very much enjoyed it. For the past, like, two to three-ish years, we've had one stand-in uh, sorry, one standard of a girl who would see a lot. We stopped seeing her because she wanted to explore more serious relationships, and that was totally fine. Since then, my husband has been very interested in trying it out with another specific girl. I was open to her, obviously, and uh, we met her several times. 
she was very attractive, kind and confident with this whole thing, which is very important to me because I hate the shy persona some girls have. It makes it feel weird. I thought she was a great match. Yet, when we had our first encounter, I realized quickly I was more of a bystander than an active participant. I literally felt like the scene in Friends where Ross says he's just like there with Carol and Susan. She was all over my husband, which, okay, we're literally having sex, so fine. But it was just entirely too much. Every time my husband tried to make her include me, if you know what I mean, she simply wouldn't. Even though we all said prior that all that is fine. And when they were having sex, I could have thrown up. It was so intimate when it never is like that with me. The way they were looking at each other, it brought tears to my eyes. I was literally sitting there on the bed, completely naked, watching my husband make love to another woman. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, make love to another woman. There we go. Uh, I asked my husband afterwards what that was all about, and he admitted that she was a little too into him and not enough into me, which the entire um, which which is his entire turn on, by the way. We both said she's probably not a good match and that sucks, but he says it's not a big deal. So, Bam. I can't give advice on that one, even though she asked for advice, because if I'm being honest with you, it's your own fault. Anybody else seeing this? I mean... <laughs> you have to think there, buddy. No, I, I mean, I don't have to think about it. I just think, like my personal opinion on it I'm not saying it's the right opinion but it probably go. is no i just think like if you're gonna do that your relationship's in trouble anyway like i don't I, I i just i i, I mean I, i've heard of stories where people have done this and it ne i've never known it to work out um yeah yeah, yeah. It, it's cool that it worked out for them for two three years or whatever however many times they did it but like well, yeah. If you I, truly, like, if I'm being if you, honest, if you truly love someone, you will you wouldn't want to do that. That's my opinion. I love the fact that she's pissed off because um, <laughs> she's like, my husband's never made love to me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? He's had sex with me. He's never made love to me. It's just like why. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we've both got the same opinion on that. But 2024, now you can't say that these days. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> no, say whatever I, just, I, I just, I don't care enough. Like, if I, I just think, like, if you're going to do that, your relationship's already in trouble. But yeah. that's how some people like to live life. And who am <laughs> I Who am I to stop them? <laughs> well, well, exactly. Who, who, are, who are you to stop them? Exactly. Is 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 the real question here? Ah, uh, dude, Instagram is fucked. You know, like this is just not working. Yeah, I I just think um I just think it's it's done. It is it is what it is. It's in, Instagram's over, so we've uh, we've lost it there. I love how Angela is also just agree with me. Yeah, like it is what it is. Like you 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 messed up. I'm sorry to say it, but what a what are you supposed to do? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Can you um can you set up your phone as the camera because you are just shaking this webcam so much? Or have you got an external no, just... there? Oh, no. no, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just I just won't touch it. I just won't touch okay. it. By the way, this is gonna be the most mellowest episode I can it, tell right now. Yeah, yeah. Like... We're just not in <laughs> I I'm you're you were ill and you're coming out of it, and you, we've had a stressful couple of hours. I'm also like I think I'm maybe like a day behind you. Well, that's my good. ear now. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least hopefully you'll be well enough by Friday. Oh, George, on the other hand, I don't know what I don't know where his head's at. There's a T-shirt that I really want, and it's a I think it's got like a it's got like a raccoon on it, <laughs> like led down, like like arms up in the air, and it says Tommy Ache Survivor, uh, and yeah, I think that so. uh, yeah, I think that sums me up uh quite perfectly um by the way uh what am i getting you for your birthday um i don't know surprise me surprise me but make sure it doesn't 
clog Skate. up my apartment. <laughs> is that, would you hate that? I've got like one rule. Like if people are going to buy me things, don't buy me something that's going to like take space in the apartment. Cause I'll, I've got to find somewhere for it. Like me mum bought me like a massive, um, what is it? Like a, it's like a big curved cushion thing that you like, you can either lean back on in bed or you can put it on in front of you while you sat down and like put your laptop on it and sh stuff like that. How big is this thing? It's massive. It's absolutely huge. And it, this is like, this I, is like your I, mom telling you how single you are. <laughs> <laughs> there we go again, talking about how single I am. But um, female size pillow for you, Bam. Um, and I I use it sometimes, but it lives on my bedroom floor, the other side of my room where I don't oh, even I've walk seen around. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen it. But like, I've got nowhere to put it. I don't know where to put it. But like after that, I was like, right, you don't buy me things now that are gonna take up space in your apartment. <laughs> by the way, Ella, is that is that Ella Rose who we had on? By the way, who's just commented? It is Ella, yeah. Hello, lovely angels. Ella, grab your grab your laptop and come on this right now. Yeah, do you want to come on? If you're if you're if you're ready, I'm calling calling you out. We'll hear we'll we'll hear from her in like five minutes. Um, if she's coming on. But like, okay, so we can get something that doesn't clog the apartment. Yes. Okay. Preferably something that like expires. You know, like a, an inst like an Instagram story, something that lasts twenty four hours. It'll make me happy. And then it'll just disappear. And I'm like, yeah, that was fun. So the next spires, <laughs> I won't take up too much room. Do you want me to get you a toddler? Jesus those Christ. Things, do those things go away? I mean, they're far from expire. You got them for like 18 years. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, life. I was going to say. <laughs> 18, you're dead. <laughs> oh, Sorry. Geez. Sorry, son. <laughs> 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 have you seen old yeller <laughs> i haven't but i know i know what happens to him i don't think i've ever seen it now isn't it like a 1960s it, it, movie I, I i don't know you were you were kind of angry with me the other day when you found out i've never seen ghostbusters and i successfully watched 52, 52 minutes, minutes of it 52 minutes of it before falling asleep even i did tell you i was tired remember i told you i was tired and yeah, we still no. put it on and like i kept it I look absolutely awful. I had such a long day. Can we plan another one though? And she did the eye emoji. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, there's certain people that can literally come on whenever they want, and Ella's one of them. Because I can just happily, happily just catch her off guard, and it makes great content. So yeah, that's uh, that's fine with me. Right, I I got a little idea here. I think every time oh, she comes, I miss you boys. Every uh, miss you too. Every time she comes on. We should try and ring Brian Stars every time. Just <laughs> I just get done for harassment. Like eventually he'll answer. It went through. So I, I saw that clip. When did we post it? Did we repost it on the podcast account. By the way, at from inside pod. Just just uh, so from inside out pod. Uh, for everyone who's wondering, there is a separate podcast account that we are going to be putting a lot into over the next couple of months. So um. Yeah, I saw it back, and it was a U.S. answering tone. It was like a U.S. answering message thing that came up. Uh, we should all try ringing him from our phones. <laughs> Just everyone. I don't know if I want him to have my number though. He can have mine. Well, he should have mine. He <laughs> used to text me. He used to text me about stuff, um, but it was always like seeing kid related stuff that's going on that we could be a part of and stuff it was to be honest looking back now like he was a bit of an odd guy but someone, right i'm just gonna so, I... someone, someone brought you up last night who, did, who was it me yeah they were like oh, who was it oh no it was jake from dream state he was like oh yeah no i knew zaid years ago from uh beyond recall and i was like uh, yeah you were like ah fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that whole thing forget about that so Jake was in a band with uh, Tom, and he was in. Um, yeah, shit, what? this is gonna annoy me. Because when I saw uh, him, because he was like, "Oh, it's been time since I've seen you," and I was like, "Yeah, it was probably about six years ago." And I, I went to name the band, and I went completely blank. And then all I could remember that was he was in Glass Heart. Oh, he's in and, Glass Heart and Dream State, but I think it was a band before Glass Heart. I think. Yeah, he, it was. It was, and played. it was most of Glass Heart that was in it. Yeah, I and can't. They, they, yeah, but did, did they like rebrand or like some? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What were they? What were they called? 
You remember? We'll jump. We'll, we'll, uh, I know Zade's old manager, Ben. Yes, my actual, uh, you know, the podcast, not podcast, the um, app I used to work on. Uh, Catherine knows Ben quite well. Uh, have you guys seen the makeup ad for that Liquid Death collab? Done? The, no? Andrew, send anything Liquid Death related. I, I don't really see, I'll be honest. Thank you, by the way, for hydrating us, Liquid Death. Well, we really appreciate it. Um, but like, it's been a couple of months now since we were in contact with them. So maybe bam, should, we should get in touch again. We might have some more tour dates to announce soon, and that's when I'm going to contact them. So um, please look out for those as well. Right. I want to do something with, with, uh, for you. Uh, liquid death and elf makeup. Ah, my partner's brother. Ah, that's amazing. It is, isn't it, Catherine? Because I remember talking to you guys. And where did we go, by the way? What, what was that Welsh date that was in the middle of nowhere? Avatar, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw, we saw, uh, Catherine then. So, um, yeah, I want to try some of you. So, there's been a lot of either successful or famous Michaels in this world. Yeah. Right. So I want to play a game called Top Five. <laughs> now I'm going to name a Michael for you. Okay. Okay. And you can do this at home, by the way. I'm going to name a Michael for you. Yeah. And you need to rank them in your top five. However, once you've stuck it there. Okay. Yeah. Move. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if I say, I don't know, uh, Michael Kane. Is he in your top five, Michaels? I mean, I'm only going to rate the five that you give me. I'm not going to rate I'm going to give you more than five. Ah, uh, really, uh, you see? Um. Okay. Michael Caine. I'd say just three. Yeah. It, it, he's number three in my top five, I guess, out of actors. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's not all... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not... It's not no, all, it's out not of celebrities. Actors, celebrities. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, okay. Uh, is there that many that I can? Yeah. Go on. I'll say three. I th I... He's done a lot of good. By the things. way, I, I need to, I need to let you know as well. I will be including anyone whose actual name is Michael. So like Mike Tyson, because it isn't. It is actual real name is Michael. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. That's fine. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay. You've just put Michael Caine at number three. By the way. Ah. Uh, can I can I put him at number four just in case? No, you haven't given me any of the names though. You haven't given exactly. me any. Exactly, that's the game. No, no, I'm selecting number four. I break the rules. No one can stop me. So Michael Caine, number four. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kind of a badass <laughs> dude. What can I say? <laughs> All right, no, no, my but, but, but I won't change. Like, no, on the first one, you, you hadn't, get you you hadn't get one person. You hadn't given me All another right, name. You... you hadn't given me another okay, name. So okay, okay, Michael Caine, get... number four. Okay, where does where's Mike Tyson? He's not even in the top five. Not even in your top five. No. Michael Gambon. Nope. Not even in your top five. I can't even think who he is right now. Who is he? Michael Gambon. Michael Gambon played um, what's his name in Harry Potter? Dumbledore. Yeah, but in the later, but yeah, in the later ones. Yeah, I don't you care, don't but... care. No. Oh well, he well he died. So okay. well, done, well, God bless his soul. <laughs> uh. Michael Phelps. Nope. You know who he is, though, right? Is he a sportsman? Uh, he's, I believe, like, and don't come for me. I don't know if anyone would, but I believe Michael Phelps has the most gold medals in Olympic history. Okay. Uh, Again. He's the swimmer. Okay. Yeah. Not okay. Not. Okay. Never, I've never watched him, so I don't care. He's not top okay. five worthy. You're running out of Michaels here. Well, so, I'm, I'm sure I'm not. I'm sure, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of them. Okay, I can think. Character. I can think. Number one, baby. I can think of. I can. <laughs> I, can I can think of. My to, I, I know my top two Michaels, so that's why I've left yeah. three open. Yeah, but it's just whether you gave them given to me or not. Okay, so we got Jackson at one. We got Kane at four. Four. Okay, so I've got two, two, three, and five available. All right. Okay, Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah's got to be in your top five. I five. Five. Yeah. What's your favorite Michael Sarah film? 
It's got to be super bad, isn't it? Probably super bad, yeah. But do you know what, though? Yeah. When, that, when that came out, I thought it was so overrated, but I've appreciated it more the older it's We got. watched it. We watched it. Um, Did we? Yeah, we, we watched it. We sometimes just put on random films, and that that was one of them. So, uh, Michael Bublé. Not even doesn't even reach there. top five. No. Uh, Michael J. Fox, number two. Uh, okay, you're waiting for Michael J. Fox. Yeah, man. Okay. So right now we got Michael Jackson at number one. Yep. Michael J. Fox at number two. Yeah. You have got your third option clear. You've oh, got Michael Caine at four. Okay. Yeah. And you've got uh, Michael Sarah. So, so, well, okay. Yeah, so. All right. I'm a little so worried. His name but, but weird. I also feel like you're going to run out of Michaels for me. So, right. so once, once Nick, I say yes to number three, the game's over, I'm yeah. assuming. Or you're just going to keep on giving me names. Yeah, like, the game yeah. will be over, but I'll, 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 uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll show you what you could have won. Okay. All right. Mick Jagger. Don't care. Michael Jordan. Don't care. <laughs> Michael Keaton. Oh. Oh. Bam, see, little rule break. See, you. see now, Michael Keaton is definitely above. Um, J Fox. No, no. I'm not saying it right. I'm not confirming it, but I would say he would be my number three. But now I'm a little bit worried about my. If I leave, if I leave him, if I leave him, yeah, right. That's it. You can't tell me you go back to him. Yeah, no, I know. He's off the board. Yeah, no. Do you know what? No, fuck it. Go on. My, yeah, that's my top five. I'm not really asked about Michael Sarah, 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 Michael. How the hell did you say his name? Michael, Michael Sarah. 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 But like, yeah, go on, and then go on. <laughs> show me who I could have had. So who you could have had. Would have been Michael Bay, who is okay. no, uh, I, know. I know he is director. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Every film he does is it's it's too it's like it's too ex much explosions and action. Like it's not fun to watch. How dare he? Oh, uh, like okay, no, it doesn't matter. Go on, uh, Michael Fassbender. Nah, I'm not asked. Not not asked at all. No. Uh, we had Michael Moore. No. No. Not bo not bothered by it. Uh, I, I don't. I think really, I'm, I think really I'm winning. I think I'm winning now. I think I think I've you got did, it. You, you did really well. Uh, I, I do like Michael Douglas. If you don't know who he is, Basic Instinct, Fatal Attraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I knew Michael Douglas is. Yeah, I, again, yeah. I, I don't think I'd say he was in my top five. No, no. We had Michael Schumacher. Um, I think he's on his deathbed. By the way. Like, oh, really? I'm really sad about that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He's on his way out. But you, um, you did it. Your top Sick. five. I Your top won. five: Michael Sarah, Michael Caine, Michael Keaton, uh, Jay Fox, and of course, Michael Jackson. So my actual my 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 next question for you is: Yeah, Snog Mario Boyd, oh who's in there? God. <laughs> <laughs> Beth just said Michael Bolton. <laughs> I actually don't know enough Michael Bottoms. We were talking about this of the week, weren't we? I actually, like, yeah. a clip came up yesterday for something, and there was, like, a, a music video with him, like, pure long hair singing some, like, ballad. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, that's Michael Bolton. Like, I only yeah. know him. I only know him from the Lonely Island song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's the, the yeah, that's the only song I know him from. By the way, right, I'm going to mute my mic a second because I need to blow my nose, but I'm, I'm quite happy that I've made it 41 minutes in. I still haven't had to do this yet, so progress. Right, Snog Mario Void, you, you tell me what's going on. Okay, yeah, we'll mute your mic. Wait, actually, I just muted you, not myself, to, so I need to make sure I do this. Say that again. I, I've muted you, you're fine. Uh, oh, really? Uh... Oh, he's done himself. <laughs> I heard that. Right. Everyone heard it. Do you know me. what? Do you know what I'm really happy with? That was disgusting. Do you know what I'm really happy with? Your version of it sounded a lot better than what it was. So you saved me really. <laughs> if I had to do it. If it had to be done. All right, go on and tell me then. Who you bumming? 
<laughs> Bring it on. Yeah, but this is I, this isn't like a serious thing. I can't answer that. Bam. All right. <sighs> Fucking hell. Um, I'd avoid. Oh, I'll start eating. I'll I'd, start av- eating I'd avoid Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, good lad. <laughs> Uh, what was it? Snog, marry, avoid. Yeah, just any, like, just three of them out of it. Uh, you could have completely avoided Michael Jackson and not brought him up, but then no, we no, would have all speculated. No, that, that's fine. I'll, I'll just avoid Michael Jackson. Yeah. Um, snog or marry. Um, <laughs> uh, I'd snog Michael J. Fox, and I'd marry Michael Caine. Shaking. Uh, that's uh, that, I'm on about like early twenties. Michael J. Fox. That's how I'm picturing him. Yeah. And then Michael Caine, I'd marry him. He's old. So. Didn't you know. he treat you right, wouldn't he? Yeah. He's a he's a classic gentleman, I am assuming. He's a, he's a, he's a classic gentleman. Mm. Uh, I, 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 you know, well done to you. Um, <clears throat> So we were going to have uh, Becky Slade on today. Uh, and I was actually going to bring up the fact that me and you don't exactly trust the news. <laughs> like, as bad as that sounds. But I was thinking she is a direct contact to ITV. But she also used to work for Smooth Radio. And people, if you know Smooth Radio, it's global. So global runs LBC, uh, Smooth, Capital, all this kind of stuff. And guess who has a show on Smooth Radio? Still. Yeah, I think still. So. Graham Norton. Oh, okay. Where do, what what was at the top of my list? Uh yeah. Okay. All right. Let's not talk about your very very long Graham Norton red chair story. No, completely okay. wrong. You got it wrong. Okay. What's okay. at the top of my list? Going on Graham Norton. Performing. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was just Remember? going on it. I thought you just wanted to go on it. I didn't realize you wanted to perform. No, poof, I want to perform, perform on it. Perform. You wanted me to poo form on it. Poo, poo, poo form. Gonna get me some poo form. But then I was also thinking, hang on. Everyone just thinks we're a bunch of weirdos. Like no one gets who's like <laughs> no that's, like those references. If you, you know what, start <laughs> if you're listening, just start doing it in real life. Anytime something ends with an O, put a little whistle sound at the end of it. It's amazing. You poo. Um stop it. You poo. Um yeah, Ant and Deck are getting on now, right? Because it's back to YTV. Ant and Deck are getting on now. What? Me when, and you. When, when weren't they getting on? Well, like, oh, in, oh, they're in, getting on. Older. Right, they're okay. getting older. Do you know why I said that? It's because I saw an April Fool's post the other day by them saying it's that they're heightened yeah. ways. That's yeah. why I thought maybe you'd seen that. That's why I was like, what are you on about? But yeah, obviously, it's just me being stupid. Yeah. They're, right, get, so... they're getting on. They're getting on. They're, well, they're, they're getting old. Do you reckon they're, how old are they? Like 47? 40... Oh, 47, 48? Do you reckon? Not, are they not in their 50s yet? I don't think so. Cause I, I think they were only like 10, 10, 15 years older than me. Age. Bam showed his age. Age. I'm not, anyway, well, Bam's just... I'm, Bam's 30, just I'm 35 away. in fucking two weeks. Oh, yeah. Ant is 46. Wow. Uh, and Deck is 47. I wasn't, I wasn't that far off it. Wait, how old did I say? I said 47, didn't I? Yeah, you said 47. There we go. You Bang said... on, baby. Oh. Right, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, direct line to ITV. Right now, and Becky, if you listen back to this, I am going to bring this up when you come on. But right now, she's a production journalist, okay? So that means she not only sources, gets sources for stories and works on them for like months at a time before they release, she can also probably pitch stuff. Now, I'm thinking we start off a little bit easy, yeah? I think we somehow get me and you a little bit of a spot on Good Morning Britain. Do you know what I mean? Like, we could do the we could do the prizes bit. Do you know what I mean? You could be winning this lovely car. Do you, like, do you know what I mean? And then slowly but surely, it's me and you out in Australia. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. We're finally hosting it. Uh, okay. You thought I was going to say we're going to do it. Yeah, I, I was going to say I definitely could not do it. Are you mad? Do you know what they'd have me doing? They'd have me jumping out of a, a plane and I'd Gemma Collins it. Do you, I mean, did you see that when she's like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Uh, no, I've, I haven't watched that show in like 10 years. I, I have no idea. But I think this, I, think I, 10 years. I just don't. Well, probably longer then. But I. 
I think I would just die. Like, <laughs> I, like, really? no, but like out of like fear, like I'm scared of so many things. And like one skydiving is if that's what they got to do that, that I'd probably die during the fall. Or even if I, just before I get pushed out, I'd die of fear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two, you've got to swim there. I remember that being a thing. I can't swim. So I'll just die being in the water in general. Even if it's not even deep water, I'll somehow find find a way of tripping and dying. Two, yeah. uh, three. I just couldn't handle the 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 insects or like the the giant spiders. Like there's what any spiders? Oh my god! Just, Wait there's a just no my way. Brain, it. For some reason, my brain heard I couldn't handle the incest, and I, I you got the wrong show. That too as well, yeah. <laughs> Just I couldn't handle all this incest around me. Zade's Zade's partial to a bit of incest, though, so I'm a celebrity, you'll be all right. Hey, if people want to do it, yeah, who am I to judge? I'm not allowed to judge anything else, am I? So <laughs> go ahead. I'm not doing it, but if you're doing it, make sure it's consensual. Do you ask your uh, mum? Yeah, who do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing. All right, move on from that fucking hell. Yeah, look, a, would you, what, a permission would you, slip. Would you do? I'm a celebrity. I think I do. Out of the uh, celeb game now. What's this thing I, on your screen? Like, what's going on with your camera today? I don't. I don't know. Stop it. Like, <laughs> there it is. It's just like a big white smudge. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'll sort out. We'll have to sort out the camera for next time. You're anyway, killing me. Um, you're killing me. Uh, sorry, but they, uh, we've we've got we've got actual audio listeners, so let let them enjoy my voice. Okay, at least that's working. Right, out of the like the things that they get them. So there was, uh, I think, Celebrity Big Brother would be really easy. Do you know what? I mean, not even Celebrity Big Brother. I said since watch like when what was his name Craig won from because he's yeah. from Liverpool, isn't he? I remember watching that first season as a kid Craig. being like, I would love to be on Big Brother, Big Brother one day. I don't know if I, I've got it in me now. I don't think I'm I'm probably not interested enough now. Oh, oh, would I just go there to cause shit? I don't know. Yeah, you'd no, be like, I, I don't know. Be. I think I'd be a bit too like self-aware of people watching me. And I, I think I'd probably be I'd probably just be looking in the mirror constantly just to make sure like I looked okay. Do you know what I mean? Like I, you know me. Yeah, because I look like absolute up. shit when I know no one's around. Like greasy hair, I'll be walking around in my boxes. Oh, so I get that treatment when I'm near you. I get the no one's watching me treatment. How, I get how, no how, one important watching what me. What did I look like? You left the other morning. What? How did I greet you to say goodbye? <laughs> um, I came out of my boxes. Know? My hair was everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah I told you it that's wasn't. Like, I'm a fucking. Dirt back. You kind of look like <laughs> Caveman Patrick from SpongeBob. You ever seen that? Um, well, I... Caveman SpongeBob, really? Yeah, um, I won I on the reference. Too old, too old, lad. I'm too old, lad. Too old. <laughs> um, sorry, I was going on about like which show I would do. So I think Big Brother's the easy one. I think that's a bit of a cop out. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I, it's nothing to do with like. There's no. Ch- Is there challenges in it? There's trials. Is there trials? Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe I wouldn't be any good at the trials. I know. I think you would be. I think. I think you'd be fine at those. I mm. don't understand anyone who does dancing on ice oh, because I've yes. tried to skate. Oh, this I can't ice skate for shit. Like right now, I can do it a little bit. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine about, you doing it. That's amazing. Ah, uh, so but after about because I used to rollerblade as a kid. Did you? Yeah, but after about five minutes yeah my legs ache because there's so much in it do you know what i mean like and with like with balance and it's it's very different to rollerblading because rollerblading you can you can literally just hold yourself for most you of got, the in you, and out leg you, thing you got those little bitch calves should we look at your legs should we see how much you can squat hey i've got athletic legs i'll give you like they might look like thin because they're compressed every day. Yeah, because it's been jeans. carrying that Lord Farquaad head of yours for your entire life. <laughs> hey, do you know That's what? I do look, look at like look at these little flick outs today. 
I do look mm. a little bit like Lord Farquaad. Let me fucking add three. Yeah, you do. Oh, look at those. Oh, my God. Pardon me. It's, uh... Oh, oh. there it is. I can't, oh. I can't do this with the, the camera being reversed. It throws me <laughs> off every time. <laughs> yep, uh, yep, that's the issue. <laughs> right. Yeah, dancing on ice, you're crazy. Now, Strictly, on the other hand... I've said uh, this before, I said this for Beth. Yeah. I could do Strictly. I feel like I could do Strictly. I impressed you the other day, actually. Do you remember? I saw the look. I I saw the look in your eye. I just busted out a little dance move to explain who someone was, and I, you was just like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> like you full on like reacted. I was like, "All right, it wasn't that good." There was a shock in there, and the shock was it's quite early. He's never <laughs> showed me this much energy. The other shock was he can dance. Oh, or I can you have some form. I, yeah, I can definitely dance. But yeah. you have. I can imagine you being able to like. You know the Russian dance where the legs go up? You're like you're like squatted down, hands to hand like that. Yeah. You... With those <laughs> with those really athletic legs of mine. <laughs> I think that's all in the ass, isn't it? Probably. I haven't got Basically an ass. all in the abs and the ass. I'm all I'm all back and then thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I used to make that joke about my tide, uh granddad for people who aren't Welsh. And um do you know it's what? Like... Actually, I've... <laughs> yeah, um, I used to... we always used to joke because he'd always be sat down on the sofa, but on his back, and I do it as right. well. But I've just realised he used to walk around with a noddy hat like this constantly, like it, like literally standing up on his head like this. I mean, this hat's longer than a normal hat, but I've I've taken that from him, haven't I? I've just realised. Thirty-five year old granddad. Bless his soul, Kenneth. Oh, is he is he, is he passed? Uh, yeah, he passed like. Uh, eight years ago, seven years ago, oh. maybe. What a guy! Uh, dude, is that wait, wait? Is that the one that uh, you were talking about tattoos with and how much you were making? No, that couldn't have been. Well, hey, hang on a minute. No, that wasn't. That was me. No. The granddad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was no, that, no, that no, was no. that was to stop him from like being like you haven't got a. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. Yeah. Basically, basically, he probably thinks you're a bum. But yeah, instead, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You were like, I'm making good money. Stop it. Uh, yeah, that wasn't me like telling people how much you make. That was me, basically. Yeah, that's uh By the way, Brian's in the chat again. All right, Brian. Good old, good old, good old Brian. Oh, Angela uh, said she sent me a link on Instagram. Hang on, I haven't got it up. While you're getting yeah. that up, I'll quickly plug it again. Uh, I... When You Cry is out on the 12th of April. And what I'm asking people to do, because I know you can do it. I know you've got it in you. I need you to pre-save, but I then need you to just steal somebody else's phone and make sure they pre-save it really easy could be a stranger or a family member or a friend uh i will be doing it to my mum's phone when i see her next uh because she did say she doesn't know how to pre-save and i get that um but anyway um yeah gonna make sure that we get as many numbers on this one as possible so go to our instagram so at from inside uk the link in the description you click that and it's the first thing that comes up it'll say when you cry pre-save um and click it uh then you choose spotify apple music deezer google whatever you listen to music on uh and it'll connect you through and that is literally it and you li and you honestly we i knew these numbers mattered i didn't realize how much these numbers mattered to the people who make decisions uh but we've been having a lot of meetings as of late and finding out a lot more um bam have you got a, a link to, to to share with me or do you want to just see it like what, what is it Sorry, like oh, you're dying. Liquid you're dying. death, literally liquid death. Thinking about drowning. Now, um, what was I going to say? What was you just talking about? When you cry? Yeah, the pre pre save. Yeah, should we we should we talk about that for a minute? Because we got told two weeks ago hmm? when it was coming yeah. out. <laughs> two weeks ago, we were we were told you're going to release a single on the 12th of April, and we went. That's not going to happen. We have nothing prepared for it. We've had wait, wait, we have, we've had we've had the song pre mixed and mastered since like last June, Jalemba. maybe mm. last Jalemba. and um, yeah. So it kind of it was a surprise to us, and then we thought, right, okay. So what what do we do? We need to we need the artwork. We need a music video. We need some sort of marketing for this song. 
Um, so I I posted on Instagram just saying, did I post it on my Instagram? Did, did we do it on the band one? I can't remember. But um, we had a girl. Um, oh, I'm going to mess. I am the worst person with names. I think her name, uh, I think her name was Caitlin, maybe. Yes. Uh, try to look at my messages. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Caitlin. I'm very, very sorry if it's like Catherine or Kaylee. I'm pretty sure it's Caitlin. But um, she came in like the next day um, and the studio, like, my studio, well, our studio, it's completely black. So we just took took a photo in there. It it like Zayd had like mocked up things, like ideas that he had. Um, from like was it like from like Pinterest stuff that you was it or whatever stock images or whatever. And as soon as we 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 saw like the three or four that he did, we kind of knew what direction we wanted to go in. So so yeah, I just did it on my iPhone with a ring light in the pitch black. I edited it and it it kind of just came out exactly how we wanted it, didn't it? It's mad how Good DIY I this I know. band did. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah, so we did we did that. And then we realized that we need to make a music video for this song as well. And we were like, well, music videos usually cost us about a grand, a grand and a half each. So we mm. was just, sorry, not each as in per member, but per video. So it was just like, oh, shit. Like, we've got no budget at the moment. Like, we didn't know this was happening. Um. So we just thought, right, okay, we, we've already done two DIY music videos. Are we able to do something for this one? So again, I think I called you, didn't I? And I was like, oh, I've got this idea. And then as I was saying it, you said the song I wanted a reference. And you was like, was Beth, you was like, Beth mentioned that song today. It's insane that you've just meant like you've just said that um that song no she played she played she played it in the car and right. i thought about that music video and i and i kind of said to myself i can do a music video like this yeah i, I, I didn't even know what so i didn't even say it, I, I didn't even put it out into the world do you know what though it, it's mad it in my like, head that, i mean you keep on saying like this happens all the time with me and you but like i don't even know where it came from for me because it was that it was like an hour before i called you i just called you and was like what if we do a music video in the style of this, but differently. Yeah. But like, as I was like in the style of that song, and then as I went to say it, you just said the song name, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like, yeah, like it's meant to be. Let's just we do just it. Knew, yeah. So, um, so again. By the way, the song that we're talking about is "Vogue" by Madonna. So we're just just a lot of hands. <laughs> um. Oh, so can yeah. Imagine George doing that. I... Come on, Vogue. <laughs> all i can do though isn't it this and then booth would be going just like so um so yeah so we shot a music video in the in in our studio again same setup as the photography as uh for the artwork but we used yeah. you know a, a different we didn't use an iphone this time although that probably would have worked with an iphone anyway but, um, it's, it's way too impressive like what you can do on an iphone now yeah but yeah, no, we uh, did that. Zaid sent me a first draft of it today. So after yeah, what this, do you, what do you think? After this, uh, yeah, it's good for a first draft. I'm, I'm impressed by you. Is that the... I, I honestly, but, but, but like, with, I... with me though. Sorry to interrupt, but with me, if someone else does something, it's not right the first time. No, like, it's it's never right the first time with you. But if I do something, it's right the first time, dude. Like I, I'm not yeah. doing more than that. <laughs> You're so, it's mad. Apart it's from mad apart from the do. apart from the promos, the the promos I sent you were like all drafts. I hadn't even like done the proper HD version of it, and then you uploaded mm. it because I only sent you on Messenger, and you uploaded that, and I was like, oh, I can't believe he's done that. He's done that. He's done like the was that not block. supposed to do? Was that, was that not supposed to happen? No, nah, I was just sending you like a like a poster idea. All right. Well, whatever. You've, it, it looks good. You've posted it anyway. It looks good. Yeah, but oh, but, I went, but, I went, but okay. like, yeah, literally. <laughs> but for me, I was just like, oh, it's not the right one. Like, I can't believe you've done that. I'm over Shut it. Up. I'm over it. I've had yeah. way more problems this month than worrying about a photo. It, it, erectile dysfunction being one of them. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> don't you giggle. Um, this is normally where podcasts promote something, but I'm not. I'm just talking about it. And this is a this is our sponsor, Blue Chew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what we could we could uh, promote actually. There you go. Talk something about that. It's a what? What? Oh, there's a delay, isn't there? You can't see it yet. 
You see it now. Talk, talk about our merch. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm actually nice. So, uh, yeah, we have merchandise over on our, our website. Um, I Right now, by the way, guys, there is a lot going on with us. We are with a band that is, because we're slightly capable of doing things, we will take long to make sure that we're the ones doing it and we're completely recreating our website and sorting it out. We could get a web developer in. We could get a web designer in. Believe me, it, it'd be worth it. And I'll never However, be happy with it. <laughs> not only would Bam not be happy with it, because we feel like we we should be able to pull it off, but with longer time, we wouldn't want to pay for it. We'd be like, no, we can do this. So things are happening. It's just, there's a lot of good stuff happening, as well as at the moment, that we have to take our foot off of certain, uh, let's say, pedals uh and go okay we need to do this instead so um yeah but i need you guys to to go to uh from inside.co.uk uh that will scroll down you'll see the merch button click that uh and you can receive 20 percent off uh your entire order i'm just reading that as it goes today oh is, is that what we're doing today okay i, just, cool. I mean i just, I just want to make sure you did set up that code right do you know what if you go and buy it and that and, and it needs something because is there an actual code is there Oh is my there god, is there not a cut? Wait, let me read it again. <laughs> code from oh, code inside from out, inside out. Check okay, out. Yeah. The, apparently, yeah, there's, yeah, a yeah. there's a code. It's code <laughs> from inside out. Check out. Do, do you know what's mad? We did oh, that like so, two weeks ago. So unprepared no, listen, for this podcast. Today. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> we did that two weeks ago. Yeah, it feels like that was two months ago. No joke. That could that that could have been two hundred days ago that we set that up. So much has happened. Um, it was Jesus's big day the other day. That that came and went. Yeah, big up, big up the old J dog. Mm. He went, came back. Ooh. Anyway, the only reason I'm bringing it up is Brian said, "Did you have a good Easter? I had a great Easter, Brian. How was yours?" Um, yeah, that what, was fantastic. What did you do for Easter? Oh, where there, you were with us, wasn't you? I was with was you. That, was that this weekend? Yeah. Do you see how? Do you see how it feels like a lot's <sighs> happened since then? We're just coming on here. And this is this is our hour of I, moaning. I, I found out it was Wednesday today. About an hour ago, I thought it was just yeah. I don't know how that happened in your like when we were on that call earlier. What yeah. day did you think it was? I thought it was Tuesday. I thought we had like four days, uh, three day, uh, yeah, three days till Friday. I thought we had irrelevant, doesn't matter. Three days till Friday, dead air. Dead air. <laughs> Friday. Um, Is I'm gonna put out thing? it's three days till Friday, mm. no, but dibs. Um, once this one goes to shit, I'll, I'll take three days till Friday and gonna go launch my own career. Anyway, enough about that. I, and every single song will be our songs, but in brackets, it'll just be Zade's version. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be all of the old stuff. Nothing I had to do with. <laughs> uh, so yeah, our new music video, our brand new music video, um, I believe we're setting up some sort of premiere. So even though uh, the song comes out on the 12th, I believe you might be able to see it the day before on some sort of platform. Uh, but we'll have that information very, very soon for you. Bam, what are you looking forward to most about releasing songs? Because my favorite thing is um, just constantly looking at the Spotify numbers. Oh my God, I was going to say the exact same thing. It's the best slash worst thing ever in releasing music. Because... It's a bad habit, really. Yeah, it's awful. Because like you can post something and like you can get... I think there's also a delay with Spotify. So I, to be honest, I, I think I do it with the YouTube numbers because with Spotify, it doesn't tell you up until after a thousand plays. But with YouTube, I'll check the YouTube. Like if when we release a music video, I'll be looking at the note and it's the worst thing to do because obviously that's got a delay as well. But I'll be like looking at it and be like, oh, it's doing shit. But then I'll wake up the next day and I'll be like, oh shit, we got a thousand plays yesterday. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's one of those like, do you remember? Yeah, do you remember with like Let Me In when that was like that blew up for like, two days or something like that it ended up it blew up in the spanish market it was like it a, it was on... shakira's playlist or something like that wasn't it yeah it was connected to a shakira song somehow so what happened is the algorithm clearly we had the same sort of fans that day or like people who were listening to new pop music it would then show like new new alternative or pop music and we just kept on getting whatever the autoplay was after the Shakira song, it just kept on coming up with Let Me In. And like, you don't, here's the other thing, like when we say about like numbers and stuff like that, 
I had to be really blunt with people the other day on that post that I wrote because like things can't just happen overnight for a band our size. Like there could be a big push on something and there could be a thing out of nowhere and we could just like fall into place, but you have to be right place, right time for certain things. And all this like data driven crap, like no one, not even the platforms now. I was speaking to someone from TikTok a couple of weeks ago and like they couldn't even tell me like how it worked. They were like, we can we can explain to you that you need to do this and you need to do that and that's helped people. Uh, but there's no like key to it. So they don't even know how half of it works. But you just got to keep on asking people to to, to help you. Um, and hopefully they just feel like the good music is what they get in return. Like I wish I wish I could actually, I wish I had the money to pay people to thank them just so I can give them a little bit more to be like, really appreciate that. Like I want to pay you to listen to our music. That's bad, isn't it? Um, yeah, can we not? But at the same that? time, <laughs> we haven't got to say that again. We've got no budget for this song, so can we not do that, please? <laughs> yeah, I know. But like, if there's anything more I can do for like to people for even just follow the Instagram, because when you follow the Instagram, uh, Instagram goes, Oh, people are interested in this. Let's see if anybody else is interested. And then our content comes up on the for you page or the suggested whilst you're scrolling. Uh, if you listen to us on Spotify, we then end up getting played after another band because somebody's listened, you've listened to us then clicked on um let's say you've listened to us and then you listen to pierce the veil and someone's listened to pierce the veil the next day and the radio has just thrown us on there and it's like it's just it's like that and it's like that's what helps us so yeah like if you're listening to this podcast right now like we really appreciate it that you're a fan of this podcast hopefully you're also a fan of the music like you don't have to be uh but you guys following us and liking our stuff and commenting whatever uh it, it is amazing um Do you know what i've had i've had a few like friends message me over the last few weeks being like oh yeah no i've um i've you know your podcast is really funny or the, like i really enjoy it whatever and i was like why did you listen to it or like well, i was like i, was, I wasn't expecting like in my head thinking like you don't support the music <laughs> do you know what i mean like what what's, well, that's ma- fine. What, what's major no i'm not like oh you don't support us but it was like you, you don't support break. the music so <laughs> what's me ma- what's made you want to check out the podcast and um i mean even like harry harry said on saturday while we were out well well we got tricked to going out um i actually i actually remember what harry said word for word okay go on then well you can see he, he actually said because he, he said this to, I listened- booth said this on the phone to me today right uh, and I was like, oh, he said the same stuff to you to, than to us, pretty much. He said he puts it on when he's driving. Yeah. He puts it on when he's driving and he feels like he's just got his mates in the car. And even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't us, he said that me and you were so good at this. Like, it was really nice to hear. He was like, oh. you're, you're so good at this. <laughs> yeah. Like, he was just like, it doesn't feel forced. I don't like, feel so, so good, good at it good today. At I do not feel oh, good I at know. it today. I know. We, we, we should have rescheduled, to be honest. But I wanted yeah. to come on and rant. So but it's like you guys are so good at this like it, it actually it actually like it, it's a really good podcast to listen to it's a good podcast it's not just because it's you guys and i thought that was uh yeah i thought that was uh really really nice really really nice to hear uh so like it's it is mad that people are like listening to it enjoying it listening yeah. to it afterwards we still get plays on the older ones as well so well, new people it. are discovering it i don't think people like the people i've been like who have all messaged me and that i don't think they necessarily watch it live but um, but they said they check it out afterwards. Like some someone said that you know they um they put it on in work and like while they're cool. doing other things and it's out in the background and they were like, yeah, it's really funny. Like carry on doing it. I was like, oh, okay. Last what night, uh, Jake here? Jake said he checked it out and he was just like, yeah, no, no other bands are doing it. Like carry on doing it. It's good. I was like, that's oh, mental, isn't it? I'll tell you right now. There's a chance that we're gonna end up on a tour because of this podcast that's being talked about right now. And I think that's crazy. Like the 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 way in is they know you from the podcast. I mean, I'd rather so, them know me for the music that we write. <laughs> hey, hey, it can't it can't always happen but that way. A lot, a lot more money and effort into that. This doesn't cost us a penny. Well, I, I mean, I, I've I've spent some, well, I, I've bought some things, but like this yeah. is pretty much free. You get specific hats. They're the exact same hats you wear in real life. They have to be free. They have to be fresh, lad. They have to be fresh. <laughs> Need a fresh hat. That's Never how you smell it. Do you think I've just got one of these? I've got I've got two of these. Well, like one one's this one, and the other one's in the box. <laughs> I, I alternate. I, joking, I don't I don't alternate crazy. them every day, but like I do alternate them. I have got two. Is there been a, is there been a day in the last two years that you've not wore a hat? 
Yeah, quite a lot. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is there been a day you've gone out the house without wearing one? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, no, quite a lot. Yeah. Like... like, now my hair's, like, long, longer. Like, it's grown up since shaving it and that. Like, definitely, yeah. How, how much longer are we going? Don't know. Don't know. I'm decided. I think I'm just going to, like, I need to get it cut because I've just got these random horns, like, from having it. Look at that. Look at the size difference from, like, the side to, like, where my fringe was. <laughs> I need I need to get, like, an it, like an inch cut off there or whatever. But Because yeah. it's just happening. This is just happening, like, all the time now, walking around with these big wings. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided. Maybe, no. maybe Booth's wedding. I might get a cut for Booth's wedding. Okay, so we need to talk about what we actually have to wear now. Did Booth send a message the other day saying that his his missus said that she he hasn't sent out invitations? So because <laughs> I was, I was I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't exactly do anything crazy. So when I take Beecham's or some sort of medicine, yeah, that gives me a little bit of a drowse, I feel good. Oh my god! <laughs> so. <laughs> So let me let me look back. Right. Here we go. Right. So there is a dress code. There is yeah. actually a dress code. I, I, I briefly scanned. I saw there was there was like three paragraphs of writing. I just kind of like flicked through. I saw Pierre had wrote something. So I was just like, ah, just this is my favorite way whatever. to start. A, a, right. In a group chat. This is, my, this is the best thing you could say. My bird's been on my case to get things sorted with everyone. <laughs> Because I just never bothered to send the invitations. Ha ha. Here's the main point. Classic. So he told me that she had made invitations. He had edited it because he didn't like it. And then she didn't like what he'd edited. So they both <laughs> never sent them. <laughs> so the dress code is formal slash suits. It's going to be hot. Obviously, you can take blazers off after the ceremony. Full suits in Sandrini. Yeah, but my bird wants it to be all formal looking on the video. That makes sense. If everyone can wear a plain white shirt, uh, that'd be ideal. Uh, as I'll probably get everyone a blue dicky bow to wear. That's nice. <laughs> Birds can wear whatever. Just obviously no white or cream. <laughs> I just love that he keeps on putting birds into it. Like... Oh my god! Birds can wear whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I look, look. Um, so basically, I've got a blue dicky uh, bow. I don't get yes, ever look, worn a sec. Dickie give me a sec. Um, there was a few other messages I'll get back to you, but Beth, because we're talking about this, Beth went, I'd be livid if I never sent out the invites. Do you know? Do you, I'd never live that down. There'd be things going on, and I'd be like, I'd be like, uh, Beth, you haven't put your shoes away, and she'd be like, You never sent the invites. Like, I'd hear that for years to come. Like, how does he get away with this? He's just, he needs to come on this. He needs to come on this podcast. We need we, to tr somehow get him on it. We tried to get him on today. Today. Because we had, a, obviously we had a last minute cancellation. That wasn't anyone's fault. And up until quarter to eight, we were on a band call, the four of us, like a video call. And then Zaid left because he had to do this. He had to sort out some stuff, or he had to eat or whatever. I had to eat, yeah, yeah. I had to, I had to sort out all like setting all this up. And I was like, lads, you're literally on a video call with me now. Just come on the podcast. Like, nah, lad, nah, lad. <laughs> nah, nah. And then he has the cheek. <laughs> he has the cheek, yeah, to come on and watch for the first five minutes and leave. It is funny though. Dickhead. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that message that Beth sent. I don't want to hear it. Well, she said. Anyway. Ugh, ignore it. Um, oh, thank you cards. Yeah, where's my thank you card? You've been given it. Have Haven't I? You? Haven't you? Do I have to send back like a you're welcome card? How long, like how, how many things is it till it stops? Did you have to ever send thank you cards as a kid? Or was Beth's upbringing just extremely white? For like presents and stuff you got presents for no i used to oh and i hated doing it as well it was always like you had to call family members at christmas or birthday it was like it was the <sighs> worst give me the, the toys no no not i'm not like not being ungrateful but like it was the I worst am. part of the day because like as a kid it's already awkward speaking on the phone and then like you're calling like your great nan and your nan and your 
uncle and auntie and all that. And it's just it's just awkward, isn't it? Like, thank you. <laughs> just you there. But like, as a kid, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me reenact this. Hello, is that? I'm sorry, that's your nan. Apparently, I'll put a different voice on. That's horrible. Came at the frog. Hey, hey, Pam. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, meet the frog. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sorry. Stop, no, that sounded more like Peter Griffin. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Um, <clears throat> let me be your grand. Hello, hello, ma'am. And then you're like, I'm like, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, oh sorry, you're really Welsh when you were younger. <clears throat> oh, butter, da, hey, nine, butter, butter, nine, well, German, are you? No, nine is Welsh for mm. nan, butter, da, nine, butter, butter, da, nine. See, I got it. But a but a dar nine, and she goes, "Stop speaking German." Go, Sorry, man. <laughs> and then you, and then she goes, "Did you like the gifts?" No, no, like, no, no, no. That's this is how awkward it is. They don't ask you. You've got to be like, "Thank you for the presents." Are, are, are and you then you do the role I, play. I, yeah, I know, but like you're doing it wrong, and you've got to, you've got to like. Wait, like, wait, stop. That's, that's what I'm saying. I wasn't it's, there. Like a, no, like a realistic way of doing it. Like, this is why it's more awkward because they don't ask you if you were happy with the presents. They, they're waiting right. for you to tell them. So you're just like, thank you for the presents or the card or the money or whatever. Oh, and then they're like, the money. And then you're there oh. going, like, what the fuck did they buy me? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, you've you just. You ungrateful you've, swine. No, it's just. I got. I used to get proper spoiled at Christmas. Like I wouldn't. Like I me, mean, obviously, my mum's probably watching. But like, I never. I didn't get anything throughout the year. It was just birthdays and Christmas, right. and maybe Easter. And I used to have. A, I had a present for my my sister's birthday as well, actually. But um, you were one of those. Yeah, I'm a favorite child. Of course, I am. Oh, no, God. she she also had the present for my birthday, but um, we right. just got spoiled. So like, you're you you're, you're muted. You're muted for a sec. Sam's mum, you're watching this right now. I don't think I am fucking weird. This is, sh stop it. You are in my head. This explains so much. He's never, he can never let it go if he doesn't get something that he's built up in his head. Mm -hmm. And it has to go somewhat his way. Yeah, it's a real issue. All good. Yeah. You did this. Uh, and Kelly, if you're watching, yeah. Right, I'm sorry that you had to go through this because I've only done it for two years. And to be honest with you, I get to go away, but you lived with it. And I, ah, oh, you hero. Right, bam, you're unmuted. Um, what was I saying? That, was that a nice therapy session for you? Yeah. You probably. I'm not joking here. By I the feel way. like I feel like I have like I feel like I have neglection issues as well. <laughs> like that, I feel like that comes from somewhere within. I don't know. I don't know where. <laughs> every time, every time you see an Easter bunny, or you hear "Holidays are coming," the Coca Cola ad, you just <laughs> tense up. Where's my gifts? <laughs> now we used to have like, um, I mean, we still kind of do, but we used to get like sacks of presents as kids. Like it was insane. We'd have a whole sofa of toys each, and like there'd be that much you just couldn't. Did you count them as well? No, I don't know. I don't know why I had. Like I couldn't tell you. Obviously, I knew what I had at the time, but I couldn't tell you how many number, how many there was. That's just ridiculous. But um, but yeah, it was just awkward because I, I would never, I would, I would just, yeah. I would just assume everything's from my mum, like unless I've been told. Uh, Do you know what I mean? I get you. I get you. Obviously, like I'm a, I, I, to explain things, I, I used to, get, well, I still do, I guess, get two Christmases, one on my mum's side of the family, one on my dad's side of the family. Where on my dad's side, I would know. But Santa has to go to what. two houses for you just to give you coal. I know, yeah. Do you know it'd be a great Santa, but it'd be really annoying. Contos. Contos. Contos <laughs> yeah. Contos would be an amazing Santa, but he just, yeah. he just, he'd, just be, he'd just be on the sleigh like Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, why do you see that? He'd be like, ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> Waking kids. No up. one understands these references. No, like no, I just... no. <laughs> you know, but we're gonna build contrast up to be a character throughout this whole this whole thing that we're doing here. You'll you'll find out more and more about contrast as we go. Right. Um a famous person once said, finish, finish uh what was it? What's the quote? Finish while you're ahead. 
So I think I think that's the best way we can end this one here. I did know it was going to be a short episode, so sorry, people. Uh, but to be honest, the fact that we kept it going, this was like half an hour of... It's only supposed to be half an hour of this Aiden Bam show before we bring someone in and torture them or harass them or make a random game about their life. Um, and we've done it for over an hour, Bam. I'm actually quite impressed. Um, we need to just quickly talk about the Patreon. So if you made it this far, that means that you, you enjoy our content. Uh, it doesn't mean there's more content coming, by the way. Uh, it just means that um, with the Patreon, you get to support us. And uh, let's just say uh, things now, Bam, are more expensive in the shops. Van drivers are more expensive these days. Let's not, talk, let's not get into that. Jesus Christ. So let's just say the Patreon money actually gets us the shows. Um, also, if you <laughs> did have any idea or you want to send us things throughout or you want to be more part of the show, uh, at from inside, uh, from inside out pod, uh is on instagram send us things over also if you listen to this right now screenshot it send or take a picture of what you see uh post it to at from inside out pod and we'll share it um bam i'm seeing you in two days um are you ready for this show i feel like you was only here the other day i feel like i was i feel like i was with you for more than three days by the way I can't even remember what happened this weekend, if I'm being honest. And, uh, but it felt like I was there for a long time. Right? It's so weird. I can't believe we're in April. We've yet to play a show. It's happening for 2024. So, is it? Oh, we, oh, prank- we, we rehearsed. Yeah, I remember. We rehearsed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but it's our first show of 2024. Yeah. We had a nice little rehearsal. Um, and final things. Uh, Brian just said, uh, depending on the day, sometimes I like the podcast more than the music, but it always put the music over the podcast. You know, Brian, as long as you're sticking with us, bro, don't you worry about it. Uh, he said also it's an odd time for people in America. Uh, wait, it's an odd time for American people. Do you just mean in general or when we do this podcast? Because if I'm being honest with you, both make sense. Um, Angela said she's got a surprise for us. Angela, I swear to God. If you show me another tattoo, I might make you cry. Um, Beth, I'm ignoring your message about the cards. Uh, so don't if if oh, Booth can get away with it, oh, sure, oh, oh, you way. haven't sent the thank you cards. I'm still fuming. What else? Right. Have you done? Give us all the, the juicy gossip. Give us all the tea. Give us all the tea. Get a cup. Right. Uh, and just saying bye. And Catherine said, when are you coming back to Cardiff? Believe me, we're working on it. Hopefully we're going to have tour dates to announce fairly, fairly soon. Uh, but like I'm saying, always hit the subscribe button, the like button. If you're right now, by the way, on the YouTube page of this, on the YouTube comment section, not the live chat on the comment section, if you can comment there as well, anything. Uh, bam, I think we need to come up with a name for this podcast when we put this on the Spotify. Um if I'm being funny, like if I'm being honest with you, it just needs to be something funny. What 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 have we said that's funny? Have we said anything funny today? Have I even laughed once? I think I cried at one point. And I haven't cried in years. There we go. I think I cried at one point. Episode. <laughs> <laughs> Epi- no, uh Bam's Big Sack. I enjoyed that one. You said about sack and toys. So Bam's big sack. Right. Uh, we'll see you all very, very soon. Come to our London show this Friday, Camden Assembly. There is the last remaining tickets. Uh, it's with Tova and Bravely Liaison. And then we're one week from that Friday as well. We're going to be in Birmingham. So that's April 12th. But that's the day we release When You Cry. Pre-save it. Come hang out with us again next Wednesday as well. Two days before that comes out. But we have been from inside and we are out. Thank you.